Hi guys, welcome to learn English with M to the power of three. In today's lesson, we will learn and practice English with Mulan. <laughs> While preparing for their wedding, General Shang and Mulan are sent on a mission to escort three princesses to China before their wedding. Mushu tries to break up the young couple because he's afraid of losing his position. However, several challenges along the way put their loyalties to the test. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell down below because every week there's a new video here on the channel. So what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single new video. Let's get started. Number one, to suit someone. Let's watch. The new uniform suits you, General. Oh. To suit someone. When something suits someone, it means it fits their preferences, needs, or circumstances well. It's like saying it's a good match for them or it's just right for them. Let's watch some examples. So, how is everything going? Solitude suits me. That's funny. I found this on a dead man. Not the pattern suited me. The requirements do not suit me. It will suit me. Okay, now the longer distance is going to suit you too. Whatever you say, Saint Lucifer. Oh, Saint Lucifer <laughs> suits me, don't you think? Now let's watch that scene again. <laughs> the new uniform suits you, General. Oh. Number two, live up to something. Let's watch. The uniform, yes. <clears throat> now I just have to live up to it. Live up to something. It means to meet the standards, expectations, or ideals associated with a particular thing or situation. Let's watch some examples. Natea and Loak try to live up to you. It is very hard on them. Nobody could live up to Tony. No, I know what it's like. I not live up to expectations. I can never live up to that. I do not want to live up to that, but it does not make it any easier to know you are constantly disappointing people just by walking into a room. Now let's watch that scene again. The uniform, yes. <clears throat> now I just have to live up to it. Number three, pink slip. Let's watch. Hey, this looks like a for real pink slip. You know, like a, <laughs> you're a fired pink slip. Pink slip. It typically is a document given to an employee to inform them that they are being dismissed from their job. The term pink slip is often used colloquially to refer to being fired or laid off from work. Let's watch some examples. You should fire him. Okay, that, that right there. That attitude is exactly why I won't be in your video because GMB doesn't care. They hand out pink slips like they're hors d'oeuvres. When this is all over, she's going to get her diploma, you're going to get a pink slip and an orange jumpsuit. That's a pink slip. He has a pink slip. If he'd just sign over his pink slip to Sybil, we wouldn't be here. Now let's watch that scene again. Hey, this looks like a for real pink slip. You know, like a, <laughs> you're a fired pink slip. Number four, easy to talk to. Let's watch. But it is our duty and our honor, although it can be a burden. Oh, I've said too much. You are very easy to talk to, Yao. Easy to talk to. It means someone who's friendly and makes conversations comfortable. Let's watch some examples. I mean, Howard was so easy to talk to. She's easy to talk to, I guess. You're very easy to talk to. Because I'm very easy to talk to. He was very easy to talk to. Now let's watch that scene again. But it is our duty and our honor, although it can be a burden. Oh, I've said too much. You are very easy to talk to, Yao. Number five, on one's own. Let's watch. 
Hey, what about old Shanghai? I think I better handle this one on my own. On one's own. It means doing something by yourself without help from others. Let's watch some examples. Let her come out on her own. Is this the plan? Daphne, thank goodness you're here. She's requested time. We do not have time. Stand back. No. My own apartment. Never lived on my own. I went from my parents to college back to my parents to Joel. On your own? Not anymore. I don't like crowds. I plan on kicking mum into heaven and slamming the gates on her backside. But she'll be trapped there on her own. How do you? You cannot hunt 30 orcs on your own. Now let's watch that scene again. Hey, what about old Shanghai? I think I better handle this one on my own. Number six, short fuse. Let's watch. Shang's on a short fuse as it is. Just make sure nothing wakes him up. Short fuse. It means getting easily and quickly angry or annoyed, especially over small things, and reacts quickly with frustration or anger. Let's watch some examples. No, I followed you and looked into your history. You're impulsive and short fused. I am not. My fuse has been very short lately. He's a loose cannon with a short fuse. Hot, and I am on a short fuse. Davy has what you might consider a short fuse. And sometimes she's a straight up psycho, which I find pretty admirable. Now let's watch that scene again. Shang's on a short fuse as it is. Just make sure nothing wakes him up. Number seven, wing it. Let's watch. Well then, maybe we should just forget the map and wing it. We can't wing it. We need a new plan. We have three days. What if we get lost? Wing it. It means to do something without planning, just figuring it out as you go along. Let's watch some examples. We're late. Now that's going to be perfect. You know what you're going to say? I'll just wing it. Uh, or we could just wing it. That might work too. <laughs> Come on, I know you prepared something. You wouldn't just wing it. It's just me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> All the times we wonder if we're doing right by Sheldon or how to handle him, we finally have someone to compare notes with. There's notes? <laughs> I've just been winging it. I believe the bride and groom have chosen to write their own vows. We haven't. Hmm. Huh. Well, just wing it. Now let's watch that scene again. Well then, maybe we should just forget the map and wing it. We can't wing it. We need a new plan. We have three days. What if we get lost? Number eight, to wear off. And number nine, to wind up. Let's watch. And when the infatuation wears off, the atria light's gonna wind up with root rot. To wear off. If something wears off, it means it gradually fades away or becomes less effective over time. Let's watch some examples. But when the magic wears off... Wait a second. That's possible? Nothing in life ever stays the same. At least get out of the hammock. Your seasickness will wear off. Try some of this ginger root. So get your sea legs back. You look terrible. Ah. One sip and you will find that all of your endeavors succeed. At least until the effects wear off. Just try to relax, Georgie. It'll wear off. Yeah. I think the spell is wearing off! <laughs> to wind up. It means to end up or find oneself in a particular situation, often unexpectedly. Let's watch some examples. There, the little prep school punk, he winds up making him attorney general. This old geezer once told me all the things I couldn't do. Then I wind up alone. The people that shoot at you, usually wind up shooting at me. I don't want this winding up in the wrong hands. I found you in my bed. How'd you wind up there? <laughs> now let's watch that scene again. And when the infatuation wears off, the atria light's gonna wind up with root rot. Number 10. Nip something in the butt. Let's watch. The girl don't even realize how miserable she is. That's why I gotta nip this thing in the bud. Nip something in the bud. 
It means to stop or prevent a problem or situation early, before it becomes serious or worse. Let's watch some examples. I was thinking I'd just nip it in the bud before it gets worse. And you, and you have to do it right now, nip it in the bud before it gets too complicated and you lose her entirely. We go down there first and we nip it in the bud. We get I gotta nip this in the bud. In fact, I gotta nip this in the bud. I mean, clearly there's something between us. Maybe my head was saying nip it in the bud because my heart was saying something else. Now let's watch that scene again. The girl don't even realize how miserable she is. That's why I gotta nip this thing in the bud. All right, now it's time to practice and take the quiz. It has three questions and you have five seconds to answer each. Are you ready? Here it is. Number one, what does nip something in the bud mean? A. Letting something grow unchecked. B. Ignoring a situation completely. Or C. Taking early action to stop something. Well done! The correct option is C. So to nip something in the bud means to taking early action to stop something. Number two. What is the meaning of suits you in this context? What time? What time that suits you? A. Fits your schedule. B. Fits your style. Or C. Matches your outfit. Good job! The answer is A. So, the time that suits you means the time that fits your schedule. Number 3. Which of the following cannot be the meaning of to wear off? A. To gradually fade away. B. To gradually put on clothes. Or C. To become less effective with time. That's right. The answer is B. So to wear off means to gradually fade away or to become less effective with time. Great job! You've made it until the end of this lesson. Share this video with a friend who's also learning English and who maybe is a fan of Mulan. Now I have a question for you guys. Which of the expressions you've learned in today's lesson was new to you? And do you have any questions? Leave us your comment here under this video and we'll curiously read your comments. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. See you in the next video!